Hey everybody, welcome to day 30 of Christie's 30 Days of Sketches. So today I am scrapbooking the sketch, which is day 30, which is what I picked out. This is one that I've loved for a long time. I've never made it. And I would love to do it as a Christmas layout because I really love the Santa going across here. But today I am stretching myself to not scrap it like the sketch to show you that you don't have to go literal with a sketch you can use it as a suggestion so today I am scrapbooking a travel page and I am going to be using the let's get lost by um, recollections this is from Michaels in addition to that I am also using pink paisley's atlas uh, this was a hot buy bought from Michaels and I've picked out a couple papers but not everything so today I am scrapbooking this picture this is of meals that would have been in one of our ovens on the airplane when I was working and so I've already figured out my title so my title I'm going to do with um, these um, Chamel thickers and they're like the, um, they look like the lettering that you'd see on the arrival departure board at the airport. And so I'm just going to say chicken or beef because when we were serving meals, that was primarily what we were serving is either chicken or beef or pasta. So um, as a nod to what we used to cook, that's going to be my title using these. Now to get this image going across, I went on my Cricut and I cut out um, two sets of clouds and I'm going to run those across the page. Now to give it a little bit of definition because and so it's not just like flat paper, I went ahead and I um, distressed it a little bit with this um, classic Stampin' Pad from Stampin' Up and it's called uh, Bordering Blue. And I just kind of went along the edges and then into the clouds to kind of give it that smoky gray blue color like you'd see up in the, in the sky. So for my background, I am going to go ahead and use this paper, which is all airplanes. So it will end up looking something similar to this. I'll have to cut like one or two off and, and finagle them around, but that's pretty much what it's going to look like. And then instead of Santa Claus, I'm going to fly my airplane through the clouds and then have my picture clustered down here. So for this image up at the top, um, I pulled... So this paper's from the um, Recollections, which is the Let's Get Lost paper. These papers are from the Atlas collection. So for one of my banners or layers, I haven't decided yet, I'm going to be using these globes. And then for the element that's up here in the corner, this one here, I figured I would just hang um, the flight tags that... Um, and use it at like a cut apart and when I cut my clouds out I cut them in the middle of the page because I am going to go ahead and mat my um, background on here and I may even go in and see if I can go ahead and mat the picture in here as well and have that on white as well so that's kind of the game plan right now. So I'm going to put you on pause. I'm going to start assembling what I know. Um, I think I'm going to go in. Um, let me pull this one out. There is. I don't want like the purpley color, but I could do something like this as a layer to bring in some color. Um, but I might use some of the journaling tags that I could go and like maybe like do something like this with the adventure or 
travel bucket list, you know, or even if I cover that up and use that as part of the, the borders that are going around, I think I'm going to try and use those and do my layering. In fact, why don't I just go ahead and pull it out and I can do that. So, I'm again, I'm going to put you on pause and then I'm just going to go ahead and go through and see what I can layer up. And I don't know if... I, I'm, I'm going to try and use the cards first on, on most of my layers before I start cutting into other stuff. And we'll see where we go. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I have the main part of it put together. And so now it's just a matter of embellishing. So I did use the journaling cards for layering. Um, got my clouds going across the page and then I just grabbed... Um, a couple of those tickets from that um, cut apart sheet and put those up there. So I'm pretty close to what the layout is. I do want a little banner to go here, but I'm going to wait a moment because I need to figure out the title. I really do want it to be chicken or um, beef. And I'm not sure how it would look up here or if I need to change my letters. So I did go and grab this white because they're tall and skinny and I have quite a few of them. So I'm thinking I'm going to do chicken or beef here and then the banner down below and not use the Chamel ones. So first thing I want to do is get my airplane on because I know I want that on there. And this has absolutely no stick left from it. So I'm just going to add some adhesive. Just going to tuck him into the clouds like that. There. And then I do have these little luggage tags, so I thought maybe I could put those up here. And pull out a little bit more of the colors. Let's see if I can switch this. And I will put like a um, string or something up the top. And then, let's see if we can fit this one in. Yeah. And this one can just tuck in, like right there. Alright. I like that. And then I did grab this compass or fussy cut this out from the cut aparts. Maybe I can tuck this in some place. I'm not really sure. I might wait till I have the. Let me go ahead and do the. Um, tag or the banner going across here because then I can build, or instead of doing the banner, I think instead of the banner, I'm gonna do this. I can fussy cut, this is like a hotel key a pa and um, two passports. And that was basically my life for three years, is Passports and hotel keys. And let's see here. I'm kind of liking the bright colors. So if I put this here. 
and then I can tuck the camera in or even have the camera I don't like the camera as much. Let me go ahead and put this down. I like that. And I like that behind. All right, so then let me see. So that gives me like three. And then like I said, I don't think um, the other ones will work because I think the word chicken with these letters is too long. C-H-I-C-K-E-N. So basically it's the width of this and it is too long. I'd have to have it right up on the clouds and I really don't want, unless I go Unless I go over, let me grab my wax paper and just look and see. Hang on. Because if I put it on the picture, it would look okay. But do I want it on the picture? Let's see. I really love these and I've had them forever and I just have not used them so it would be nice to be able to get them onto a layout. Oops, need my K. this and see how it looks. Now I could maybe let's try There's the word or. And if I put that right there, and maybe the word beef right here with the question mark. that there. I don't mind that. I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and um, call this one done. I will take them off the wax paper um, off camera just because um, I'm going to glue them down a little bit better. So I think this is going to be it. The only other thing I might do, there's a little gold. Let me put gold in those tags up there. So let me get some enamel dots. And then I can just journal 
a little bit about our regular service. Oh, I grabbed an grabbed embellishments and not enamel dots. Hang on. Okay, these will work better. Okay, so here's these and I have these, and this is a good time to use the bigger ones. And let's see, chicken or beef, and maybe I'll just put a couple down here. put some up here. One, two, and three. All right, so this is it. I'll have our chicken or beef title. And I will have close-ups afterwards so that you can see it all glued down. But I'm just going to go ahead and add a little adhesive onto there so that it sticks. I just don't want to put it on the pictures yet until I have it all lined up. So I want to thank you guys for stopping by and I will be back again tomorrow. I have one, two, three, four catch-up videos to um, do so hopefully I can have those done by the end of the week. I know I'm stretching into April but I don't have any big plans for April so that's okay, and at least I get them all done. So thanks so much for watching, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye.